If you're looking to do some digital note-taking, the A16 iPad is the perfect device for the job. There are a whole host of apps to get you started in your note-taking journey, and some of them come free right on the iPad. The A16 iPad is compatible with Apple Pencil USB-C, and while you're missing some functionality of the Pro, there are still plenty of tools here at your fingertips. On top of that, you can get a paper-like screen protector, and so you get that matte finish, more texture, and more grip and control when you're writing. Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and I love the A16 iPad because you can get into the iPad ecosystem of note-taking for a very affordable price. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars on an iPad Pro. You can absolutely start with this base iPad, and you're going to get access to a whole bunch of apps that are amazing for note-taking. You've got free apps pre-installed like the Notes app, which is great for just basic note-taking, adding pictures, and even correcting your handwriting, which I desperately need. But there are lots more ways to make you use of your A16 iPad and your Apple Pencil. You can take notes in different apps, you can mark up documents, you can write on top of presentations while you're presenting, and you can even crunch some math with your Apple Pencil. So in this video, I want to give you my favorite apps for note taking and doing markups. And I also want to give you a quick review of the paper-like screen protector, which is probably one of the most famous screen protectors I've ever heard of for iPad. People rave about the screen protector on my channel, and it was specifically designed to make your iPad feel more like paper when you're writing and taking notes. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first, let's just talk about that base notes app. So the notes app is great because it's free. It has lots of drawing tools inside of it already built in, and it's really compatible with the other apps on the iPad as well, such as Safari. So let's say I'm taking a note on Mount Rushmore and I want to add a photo from Safari. I can just pull that up and drag and drop the photo right into my note. Then I can start to take some notes by hand, and I love that if you select from the three dots menu, there's an autocorrect on your handwriting that you can select. You just toggle that switch on and it will automatically change your handwriting to look a little bit neater and nicer. So if you know my channel, you know that I am a teacher and so my students really appreciate when this app corrects my handwriting and I can't seem to find another app that does that. So the Notes app is one of my favorites for that reason. There are other great apps that I like to use that are built right into the iPad. For instance, the new Calculator app was launched last year and there are math notes in inside of this app. And when I'm teaching math, I love this and so do my students. So the Math Notes app supports the drawing of shapes, which is really nice. So if we're finding the area of a triangle, for example, I can draw the triangle. Doesn't matter if it's sloppy, it will get auto-corrected for me. Then I can write out my math problem and as long as you write an equal sign, it will crunch the math for you. And it recognizes all kinds of symbols, even if I use a dot for multiplication. My students love this for quickly crunching math. I love it for demonstrating math problems. The Math Notes app is actually pretty cool. Now before I get into more apps I want to talk about this paper like screen protector because a lot of folks on my channel absolutely swear by it. Now I actually purchased an iPad Pro with nano texture display because I also wanted that matte like finish. But if you don't want to spend this kind of money you can get this paper like screen protector for around $45. You get two in a pack. Which I gotta say is much cheaper than buying an iPad Pro. The screen protector comes with a lovely kit on how to attach and install it to your iPad. There's a little QR code that you can use to scan and then you get instructions on how to do that. The kit also comes with some wiping cloths, a microfiber cloths, and some stickers to actually apply the screen protector. Now I'm going to admit it was a little tedious getting it on there. I've definitely reviewed other screen protectors that come with a kit that make it easier to install than what Paperlike provided. So it took a little while to get it on there, get the air bubbles out. It wasn't complicated, just a little tedious. Once I finally got all the air bubbles out of there, I was able to test it and yeah, it does give the matte light like finish as promised. So it gives you a lot more grip on your pencil when you are writing across the surface. Definitely takes away that glossy feel of writing on glass for sure. Also, I don't notice any difference in the screen. It's not like things look hazy or fuzzy now because I've applied the screen protector. Videos still look good. The screen still looks really good. And so if you're looking for that matte-like finish and getting that texture on your display, I would definitely try this paper-like screen protector out. I'll leave a link in the description below to it so you can take a look. Okay, another Another commonly used app that I use when I'm doing markups is Microsoft Word. So as a teacher and when I was a student and as a project manager, I get all kinds of Microsoft Word documents. And sometimes when I want to take my own notes on them, I like to do this with the Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil is great in Microsoft Word for highlighting pieces of the document that you want to stand out and remember. I think this is great as a professional and as a student. Something else I like to do in Microsoft Word is you can add a shape that looks like a sticky note and I like 
like to just put these sticky notes on the document and then make a note to myself off to the side. It's really good for helping me remember that I need to ask a coworker about a specific piece of the document. So try that out. Add sticky notes onto your Microsoft Word documents and just use your Apple Pencil to mark up as you please. Now, something else you can do with your Apple Pencil and your A16 iPad is when you're presenting, you can actually mark up on the slide. So in the Keynote app, which is Apple's version of PowerPoint, I can actually pull up a presentation. Let's say I'm teaching on the pH scale and I want to make some notes on my slide. I can absolutely do that. I can just tap my Apple Pencil to the screen and start writing. And what I love about this is when I exit writing mode, all the writing goes away, which is actually really nice because it doesn't leave it permanently on the slides. It gives me my nice clean presentation again. All right, so another one of my favorite apps that I have been using for years is Notability. And this is my favorite app that I like to use to mark up PDFs. And so I hand a lot of PDFs out as a teacher. I also have to review a ton of PDFs in my project management job. And Notability is just great for importing a PDF and then it just acting like a piece of paper. I don't like the built-in notes app as well for this. It kind of puts it in as an attachment into the note. I just like the whole note to be the PDF itself. Notability has lots of writing tools and highlighters and options just to mark up your PDF as you please. It's got a good clean feel to it and my students really love it. You also can divide your notes up into dividers, which I really like. So if you're looking for something to mark up PDFs, I would absolutely suggest Notability. It's my absolute favorite for that. Now they do have the preview app, which is coming out for iPad OS 26. I have the beta installed. And so if you're seeing me rearrange some windows or use different apps on the iPad that you've not seen before, it's because I'm using the public beta on my A16 iPad. So look for those windowing features in the fall when iPad OS 26 launches. Okay, so that's my rundown on the A16 iPad and all my favorite apps that I use for taking notes and marking up documents. And that's my take on the paper-like screen protector, which delivers exactly as it promises. Let me know if you have further questions about note-taking. Leave a comment below and I'll take a look at those. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.